In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the, some limiting beliefs about money. I'm going to be talking about 10 of them. So if you have these limiting beliefs, they may be um, what is holding you back from having more money or attracting more and you know manifesting more money in your life getting to you're putting in all the work then you're not seeing the results and it may be because you are the one standing in your own way you are the one sabotaging yourself so that's what i'm going to be talking about in today's video some limiting beliefs about money hi my name is juliet israel i am a mindset coach i share content and all things related to mindset mental health emotional wellness to help you upgrade your mind your life your finances and business so if you love content and all things related to mind mindset, mental health, emotional wellness, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified of my video the next time that I drop one. Yeah, so I started a series on, you know, money mindsets, right? And um, in today's video, I'm going to talk about 10 limiting beliefs. But first of all, what are limiting beliefs? So like the name limiting, limiting beliefs are those beliefs that you hold to be through about money so since we're talking about limiting beliefs about money right so limiting beliefs are those beliefs that you hold to be true about money that are actually limiting you so you want to make more money but because of the things that you believe about money they are probably limiting they are negative so those things are what's holding you back what's stopping you back from having that much money that you so crave so I'm going to dive right into it and talk about 10 of those limiting beliefs. Number one, there isn't enough money to go around. Now, some people believe that there is not enough money to go around, that, you know, um, money is kind of limited. But that's, that's you really like saying there isn't enough sand to go around. Because God, um, God um, when God created man, and he said to man that, we should be fruitful and multiply and basically dominate the earth right so if he said that we should be fruitful it does not just mean fruitful um, being from the fruit of your body it means fruitful in basically everything that you do the works of your hand should be fruitful and that should also mean you know when your work the works of your hand is fruitful it means that you're making money for yourself right so if he says that we should be fruitful then he already made the provision for that right so there is enough money to go around for everybody so it's your decision to be rich and it's your decision to be poor so the bible said clearly that he has said before you life god said that he set before us life and death so it's more like saying oh i've said before you poverty and riches so you choose one so he has put it in your hands it's up to you to choose what you want to choose so um saying that there is not enough money to go around is you saying okay let me take the back stage and let someone else take the front stage i don't want money unless i want to have the money that's basically what you're saying so um the second thing you um the second limit thing believe about money that some people have about money is i don't deserve a lot of money you know a lot of people feel guilty about making a lot of money like they feel like they do not actually deserve that kind of money they they hear people who have money they, they see uh, read stories about people who are very rich and then they feel like oh they don't deserve that kind of money and then they're like oh maybe there are lots of other people who deserve that money maybe people who are on the streets they probably deserve the money and you know that's kind of like a continuation of you know the belief that oh there's not a lot, enough money to go around because if you feel like you there are other people who deserve more money than you i don't know because god created every single person equal so he didn't create one person with two heads and then you say okay because that person has two heads then um they should not they should not have they should have more money right than me so um saying that i don't deserve a lot of money because they're look at who deserve that money is you limiting yourself and you need to eliminate that so the third limiting belief is you know people who say that money um wanting more money is greedy you know some people actually think that when you want more money you are greedy all right it's like you know, why should i want more i'm comfortable with what i have i don't want to sound greedy i don't want to look greedy i don't want to feel like i'm greedy so wanting more money is not greedy 
like I already said in the first point that God gave you the choice, the option of choice. He said he has, in fact, the Bible says that he blessed you abundantly. What does it mean? It means that he blesses you overflowing, that your blessing is overflowing. So it means that you can be blessed and then, in fact, God expects us to be a blessing to others. So how are you going to be a blessing to others when you feel like, oh, money is, you don't want to have more money because it will make you feel greedy or it makes wanting more money is being greedy. No, you're not wanting, wanting more money is not greedy. You're just wanting to acquire the blessings of God. The fourth limiting belief is that you need money to make money. Well, to some extent, that may be true, but people who have this limiting belief, they don't do anything. You know, they just sit down and wake up in the morning and do nothing. And when you ask them, now, why are you not doing anything? They say they don't have money to start. They have this business idea. They have to start and that and that. They want to start and they can't do it because they don't have money. So they, they just internalize the belief that, oh, you need money to make money. Well, you may need money to make money at some point, right? But it is not entirely true that if you do not have any single thing, you cannot make money. There's something called affiliate marketing that a lot of people are doing. Many people started it with with nothing. All they had, all they, all they needed to do was, you know, talk to someone else about somebody else's product that they already created. They didn't have to do anything. They just had to be the middleman, and then they sell the person's product, and then they earn a commission, right? So, um, saying that you need money to make money and not doing anything is just limiting yourself, and that will not help you. So the fifth, um, um, the fifth limiting belief is the, the set of people who believe that money can't buy happiness. Now, um, when people say, I'm not saying that you can't, you know, you, there's a market where they sell happiness and then you go there and say, oh, I want to buy happiness and then you pay them with your money, right? There is no such market, at least for now, right? So, um, but people who say, oh, money can't buy happiness, they are, um, what they are telling themselves is that, oh, I don't need to push so much. I don't need to put in so much work to make money. I don't need to um, stress myself, hustle and all that to make money. I just need to relax because where well, was the essence? Money can actually buy happiness. It's, I'm not going to be, um, I'm not going to be able to buy happiness with all of the money that I eventually make. Well, there's something one of my mentors um, used to say he says he would say something like um money is not the most important thing in the world but some of the most important things in the world can be bought with money therefore money is the most important thing in the world don't quote me <laughs> so basically um people saying that oh you know money can buy happiness i i, I just just take in this quote and internalize it and you know see for yourself and decide for yourself if you really want to put in the money um the work to get the money good for you you can go ahead and while you may not entirely buy happiness you may solve some of your problems that makes you unhappy mm, like that so the sixth one is uh, money is the is evil um so i think that most people who have this belief they took they they stole it from you know the bible verse which says money the love of money is the root of all evil and then they twist it and say oh money is evil or money is the root of all evil and then because they do not want to be evil they tend to alienate themselves from wanting to have money now the bible says the love of money not money itself if money is evil and the god describes his throne as a throne of gold you know the streets are streets of gold like if money is evil how will god himself the most high want to associate himself with 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 um with evil even jesus remember when um jesus was on the earth and um when he was being crucified and all that his robe they were they were dragging for it that means it was actually very very expensive that people wanted to get it by all means so that means he had money. He was not he was not poor when he was here. He had enough money. Now, if money is evil, how will the Christ, who is holy, associate himself with evil? Just think about it. <laughs> so um, another thing I, I want to talk about about this 
this money is the, the Bible verse that says the love of money. Now, the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. When someone loves a thing, because God God wants us to love Him, right, and worship Him. When someone loves a thing, they tend to worship that thing. Or they tend to want to do every single thing to please that thing or that person. For instance, you are in love with someone. You would want to do everything in your part to make that person happy. You want to do every single thing that you can do. Sometimes you even have to be self um, selfish to yourself. You know, do something that you know something that would hurt you, but just because you want to please that person. That's what true love is. You know, you're you're displeasing yourself to please another person. So when the Bible talks about the love of money being the root of all evil, it's saying that people who love money so much can go any length, even if it means hurting someone, even if it means defrauding someone, as long as they have that money, they can go any length. So God is in that in that verse is telling us not to love money so much that we will do anything, even if it's illegal, to have money right but money it's uh, in itself is not the root of all evil and money in itself is not evil in fact money is very be- money is very beautiful money is very good with money you can do a whole lot of things that you wouldn't have been able to do if you didn't have money right so the seventh um the second limiting belief about money is i'm not good with money so these are people who you know they tend to make money and you know before you know it is gone you know, they make money and it's gone, they make and it's gone and all that, back and forth and all that. And, you know, when they are being questioned about their money habits, they say, well, I'm not good with money. They just tend to internalize that belief that they are not good with money. Well, nobody comes to the earth. Nobody is born with oh, good with money stamp on their forehead. Every single person who is where they are financially, who makes a lot of money and is able to keep a lot of money and is able to manage their finances well did not, not become that good um, by chance or by mistake right they learned it they didn't become that good by birth they learned it and even if you know they learned it from you know, their parents and all that they still had to learn it right they could decide to you know just be wasteful and not pay it to all the trainings and all that so that's um one belief and then the eighth belief about money is money is for spending so you know there are people who just believe that oh work hard and play hard right so they make money but you know they spend every single thing after making a lot of money they tend to spend every single because they believe that it's for spending right they don't have um they don't have any any reserve when it comes to their money they're like well Money is for spending, so as soon as they're making the money, they are spent as well. And that is a limiting bit that is based on keeping them in loop, making and spending, making, spending and not. When they have, have a situations, they can't foot the bills, they can't sort themselves out of it because they've spent all the money they've ever made. Right? That's um, the eighth one. So um, the ninth one is, um, the ninth limiting belief about money is related to selling. And when it comes to selling, it doesn't exactly um, entirely mean just selling, you know, goods and services. It could also be selling yourself, selling your ideas to someone, um, selling um, to an employer to basically employ you, right? So people just believe that oh, selling is bad, right? Selling to make money is bad. So there's some people who believe, just truly really believe that that you know to sell to someone is you know you're, you're kind of like shitting the person. Then why would you why would you um why would you sell an idea that was given to you freely? I think I remember someone actually asking me that why would I place a price on something my idea that I can just easily share. I said I I can't just easily share because I I know I spent I spend time like, even if I didn't spend money in acquiring that knowledge I spent time I I took I I, I I probably learned from experience and what I'm saving that person is the 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 uh, the experiences the years the time I spent you know having to experience that thing having to make that mistake over and over again and 
you know if they are going through that particular stage i am going i went through they won't have to make the same mistakes that i made they could just jump past it because they could just jump past it because they know that oh if they do this thing they're going to get the same negative result that i got the last time so they're learning from my experience so saying that selling is bad is saying is trying to deprive people I'm, and i'm going to talk deeper on that in another video and then the final one um the final on the 10th limiting belief about money and this, this is also relates to um, this also relates to selling is um people would think that i am desperate when i you know share my message share my ideas and ask people to buy you know they they believe that oh, when i when i talk about my goods and services and my products people would think that i'm desperate well, the truth is people will always think things, people will always talk, people will always have things to say. But then other people's thinking, other people's belief and ideas will not come and settle your bills. So it's up to you to deal with it. <laughs> so these are some of the 10 limiting beliefs that actually hold a lot of people back when it comes to making money. So um, if you have or oh, you've noticed any of these beliefs, right, that you've held, held on, you know, to be true about yourself, and basically about money and, and all that comes into your life then you need to you need to work on overcoming this limiting beliefs so um, thank you so very much for watching this video if you love that do leave a thumbs up and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section let me also know some other limiting beliefs that you know you think that people are battling with you can also share them with me in the comments and um, share this video with your friends your family someone that you care about and very importantly subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell so that you get notified of my video the next time that i drop one until the next time that i come your way again my name is julia israel and for now that's it.